Hello, I'm back again. This is Latif Tari, AKA The Black Sufi. Guess where I'm at right now? I am in front of the Grand Mosque of Tuba. Tuba was founded by Sheikh Amadou Baba and one of his disciples were Sheikh Bay Falls. So I've been going on a tour of Tuba and I've been able to walk around. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. I've been able to walk around through this grand mosque. This is the grandest mosque that I've seen. I have not been to Mecca. Um, I've been to Hora, which they have a complex similar to this, but um, a little different. This is very modern, where in Hora, in Ethiopia, is a little bit older, right? The five-gated city of Hora. But if you can see where I'm at right now, and as I turn around, you know, you can see, you can see all of the, let me turn around, you see the gentleman behind me who's, who's standing in front of this mausoleum. These are all of the mausoleums of the Khalifas. But I'm gonna walk a little bit because I'm gonna walk in front of Sheikh Amadou Baba himself, where he's buried. If you want to know about Sheikh Amadou Baba, look him up. He's a very important man. I kind of compare him to the Dr. Martin Luther King of the Islamic colonial period of Senegal. All right, because this is where this takes place at here in Senegal. Um, you can read pre-colonial Black Africa by by uh, Sheikh Anta Diop. Dr. Diop give you a very good explanation of that colonial period, as well as the role of the Marabops, right? So you see that little gold building right there? That little gold building right there is the tomb of Sheikh Amadou Baba. All right, so let me go back to Dr. Diop a little bit. So if you look inside of pre-colonial Black Africa and you read, he talks about the superstructure and which comes in that impacts Black life and pre-colonial that is before Islam comes in as a superstructure and institution, before the impact of the slave trade and that of the colonialization period of Europeans coming into the Senegambian area, particularly the area today we call Senegal. We're not that far from Dur, which is the second prayer of the day. And hopefully, I can be here doing the call of prayer, right? So this is a Islamic city, okay? I'm not sure, because they used the term Khalifa, right? So I'm not sure if Tuba is a caliphate, right? Uh, a authentic caliphate, because it is still within the country of, of, of Senegal, which is somewhat a secular Muslim animist, syncretized system, belief system of Islam. And it's as many Sunnis here, but the majority of the people in Senegal are Sufi Muslims. So if you don't know a lot about Sufi Muslims, look them up um, for those who are into the esoteric and exoteric sciences, those who are Masons, Shriners, um, within those groups, more Science Temple of America, Nation of Islam, some of these other Muslim groups, they understand what it is to be esoteric. So there is that gold building right there, right behind me. It's the mausoleum, the shrine of Sheikh Amadou Baba. So as you see, I'm walking around, you can see children playing, in outside in the courtyard this is a beautiful courtyard if you look at the floor you cannot walk on shoes in here you have to have either barefoot or like myself i have on socks with stockings over the socks so that way you will not track the outside trash into the area in which before you get into the mosque. So like if you go to the mosque in the United States, you know, you kind of take your shoes off at the door before you go into the main prayer room, right? But here, when you even get on the grounds, you have to take your shoes off. It's all marble. 
soft marble too very easy to walk on um, but this is just a grand experience you know these are you know reading about Islam in West Africa and knowing that 30% of our ancestors who came from West Central Africa particularly in the south and states like South Carolina Georgia and Florida this is how we get to part of the history of the Gullah Geechee people as well when you read when you look at the movie Daughters of the Dust and they talk about that heathen Bilal, right? You talk about the heathen Bilal in that movie, this gives us reference to the Muslims who were on some of these slave ships because they was captive, you know, in warfare, all right? They became captives in warfare. If you read, not read, but if you look at the documentary Prince of Mon Slaves, Abdul Rahman. Adur Rockman was captured in a place not too far from here called Foto Jalon. Okay, when we go back and you look at roots and you think of the lamb wrestling today of Senegal, and you think of Kuta Kente, right? Kuta Kente himself, Kuta Kente himself, remember during his rites of during his rites of during his rites of passage. Kuta Kente. I don't understand. No wolof. No wolof. No wolof. No wolof. No wolof. No wolof. No No wolof. No wolof. No No wolof. No wolof. No 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 all right, so that was my friend right here, Speaker Wolof. I think, I think he wanted to um, hold my camera while I filmed, but I didn't necessarily. All right, I didn't necessarily need him to do that. But uh, what was I talking about? I have forgotten now. He lost. I lost my train. I thought, yeah, Kuta Kente. So you think about Kuta Kente. Kuta Kente was Mandinka. So Mandinka is not too far from here, and Kuta Kente was a muslim remember in the movie roots kuta kente did not eat pork so this is where i'm at right now i'm actually about to go meet my group and i'm going to sign off from the grand mosque here in tuba let me see if i could get some more so you can see what i see all right let me show you All right, and I'm back and I'm gonna sign off in the same way that I'm signing in. I'm Latif Tariq, AKA the Black Sufi. Peace.